Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the Maker's Cave. And today, we're going to continue our build of the Agora Models Ladder Truck Number 9 from the uh, Fire Department of New York. This is going to be Pack 8. And we're getting close to the end. Uh, it's a, really a monster of a truck. Uh, so, let's uh, take all the parts out and let's start building. Oh, and I'll put a link below to this model and any of the other models that they're doing. Here's all the parts for Stage 50. So, let's start off with, they're going to have us put these little uh, red lenses into this warning bar right here. You're going to want to put a little bit or a drop of super glue on each one of these and then fit these into here. There's a little lug on the back here. So all four lenses are in the warning bar. Now they're going to want to, to bring back the chassis of the truck. Here you see the two holes and they say you just need to push this in here. There should be no glue needed. There we go. It's all in. Back in pack seven, they give you this tarp roll. And you're going to take the tarp box that just came in this pack. And you're just going to press fit it right in. Now, after you've put the tarp in this little tarp box, you're going to bring back your chassis. And it's going to sit right in here. There you go. Tarp box is installed on platform right there. Next we'll be doing some platform work. You're going to take your pipe like this. It's shaped like this. You're going to take this other piece. This long end is going to go away from the rest of this pipe. So it's going to fit on here like this. And then you're going to see two holes on the platform right here. And you're just going to fit it right on. Just like that. Now you want to orient your platform like this. You want to see these two diagonals over to your right. And now you're going to take these two um, these two brackets. Now they are keyed to the slots right here. If you notice, one is wider than the other, like that. And you're going to slide it right into there. And you want to make sure they go all the way down and in. Now they gave you another bracket. And again, you can see it's keyed. And it just slides right into here. There you go. There's your platform all assembled. Now the next thing you're going to do is they gave you two pistons. These are the outer part of the pistons. These two are the inner part of the piston. And they also gave you two end caps. Okay, so this piston slides and see a little part what looks like a T. Goes into here. And this one goes into here. And the two plugs go on the end that has this little square box on it. And you want to put this plug into the end on each one of these. These do not fit snug at all. They come right out. Now these fit on here kind of loose. Uh, they don't see anything about adding any glue. I'm not going to do that because I don't know what they may have going on farther on in the kit so we're just going to leave them like this and we'll put them aside now you want to go back get your chassis and you want to work on this cabinet door we're going to open this up and there's a shelf in here you want to pull this shelf out and you're going to take the halligan bar that came in this stage and you're just going to press fit that right into here so this is the back of the shelf. So this is how it should be oriented when you're looking into the cabinet. I'm just going to tip this a little bit so I can see to put it in. And there's the cabinet with the Halligan bar all in there. So after you put that shelf back in, we are all done with uh, stage 50. And you're going to have some parts left over. You're going to have these two pistons. Make sure you don't lose the uh, end caps right here. You got the platform we did. And we'll just hold on to that for later. And there's some screws came with this. Just put those screws away. We'll use them later on. In stage 51, we're going to be putting together an electrical cable reel. Uh, so these are all the parts. This is the, uh, what they're going to use as the electrical cable. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to start off with, we're going to take these two. And they just kind of go into each other. Firmly put them together. There you go. 
now we're going to put in this cable on here now I would suggest the first thing you want to do is probably completely unwind this which is what we'll do now the directions say that you just kind of bend this around like this to start it off and when they're suggesting that you actually put some glue on there to hold it into place to make it a little bit easier I didn't think I was going to be doing that but I'm going to tell you I think that is so what I'm doing is I'm just going to put some glue on here to hold it on there I'm just going to hit it real quick with some zip kicker but as you can see now this still got some on my thumb but as you can see now that that's on there so now it's just a matter of winding this and you want to wind this almost like a garden hose you want to make it go even all the way around you hit this side and we're going to go back okay here's that reel I've wrapped the cable all the way around it now they want you to take this and wrap this all the way flat and then add some glue to hold it into place if you see right here I'm going to keep a little bit of sticking out and I'm actually going to put some glue right in there. The reason I'm doing that is on the end of this is supposed to be a receptacle. They do not give you that receptacle, so I think I want a 3D print one. So that's why I want to give myself some room. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hold this taunt. And I'm going to add some glue right on there. And all that reel is being held in there real nice and there's a little bit extra here next one's pretty simple you're just going to take this reel holder you're going to orient it so the screw is right over here to the right and so as the wire comes over the top that's how you're going to put this on the and from this side you're going to take your little reel holder they put that right through here now that you have the reel all set up here you're gonna bring back your chassis so it goes right onto here all right now that once that that's on there you're going to take a B screw and try and put that B screw right through into there okay B screws all in there and there's your cord reel I'm a little sloppy there I'm sure you could make that a little tighter and then here's that little pigtail I left so we can add a plug on there in a later video now that we have the reel on there there is this hand rail that they gave you and you can see there's a little angle in here you want this so this angle is away from the cord reel and it's going to slide right into here and they want you to put a couple drops of glue on here to secure it in there now we're going to put that right in there and we'll just let that sit there for a couple minutes to dry so here's a close-up of that reel in here and this is actually called a Fairfield uh, roller. I, I don't know why I called this a grab rail earlier because I knew exactly what its purpose was. But the cable goes through here and helps guide the cable as you pull it out. So that's even more, of, I think, of an important reason of leaving a little bit of a pigtail on here. Because, you know, it looks makes it look a little more realistic. And, of course, now we'll be able to put that plug on the end of there, which will make it look really cool. Now some cabinet pieces came with this stage. So you're going to take this white cabinet, glue right along in here, okay, and set this in here. So let's do that. Now what I want to do is, as this is drying, I'm actually going to close the door, okay, so we know that the hinges are just in the right spot. And then I'm just going to put some pressure on the hinges. Now we're going to take this inner cabinet liner right here with this door we just put on here you're going to go get the outer cabinet and if you notice there's a little in little spot here where actually a door lock is going to go you want that off to the right here and that's how this is going to slide together so now you've just created a nice diamond plate cabinet all right what also came in this kit or the stage rather as you see there's a door lock so we're going to take our toothpick our toothpick of glue and we're just going to put a little bit of glue right in there figure out which way this goes in here now we push that door lock right in there now there's also a super tiny door handle that came in here and guess what that's going to go in these two holes and they you want to use a little bit of glue to do in here now they're saying 
what I think I might get is all right so I'm going to get my tweezers be careful if you do this wrong pinching these it's going to fly off as, you, as you've seen me do several times now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over here get some glue on my toothpick I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this post and here we go okay so now that door handles on there not hard just got to be careful and now actually use the little handle here and you can open up the cabinet now some of these cabinets are a little stiff I think I might hit these with a little bit of you know what let's give this a shot right now let's get another toothpick we've got some rapid tap right here I'm gonna put some right on here what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply these to the hinges. See if that makes them open and close a little easier. And actually that did. That made that door move a lot easier. So I think I might go back and hit um, the other doors uh, that have hinges with a little bit of the... Uh, rapid tap there to loosen it up go back get your chassis again so this new storage compartment that you made is going to fit right on there you want to be careful pushing it on there because you don't want to break anything else now this isn't going in here all that easy so I'm just going to use this to open this up a little bit the storage cabinet is still not fitting, fitting real flush here. So I switched to a different view right here, and I got to work quick because I forgot to turn the camera on. I had to open up the holes on here quite substantially. There was a screw that held this top plate on here, right here, but it was sitting proud and keeping the cabinet from sitting down here. So what I did is I put some super glue on the bottom of this. I think I want to put a little bit more. And the reason I'm working acting quick, like I said, I forgot to turn the camera on. And I, like I said, I really opened those holes up. So now we're going to put this in here. Now I'm just going to hold this cabinet into place. All right, I let the super glue cure for a couple minutes. You can see the cabinet's sitting nice and flat now. Here's your door. Close that down there. So now the storage cabinet is all on there. And with that, that is the conclusion of this stage. Here's the parts for stage 52. And it looks like we're going to be doing some platform work on uh, the top of the ladder bucket. They want you to go back and get this platform frame from uh, pack six in, um, or stage six in pack one. Now it's supposed to sit right down on top of here, you know, and then you're going to screw it in from the bottom. But on last Friday's uh, HTM build, uh, Hobby Time Modelers, we all get together and do some modeling. And Marvel Phoenix, uh, Todd, uh, he was actually doing this. And he noticed that it's a lot easier to put this little pipe in, that goes here uh, on now rather than trying to do it, you know, after this frame is on. Uh, good looking out, Todd. So this is D-shaped. Uh, the end of this pipe is D-shaped. So you're just going to stick this right in here. So there you go. That's in there. Now we're going to put this frame on here. So you can see how tight this pipe is to this frame. And how difficult that would have been to maybe put that in there afterwards. So now we'll just use, uh, put our six A screws in here. All six of those screws are in and there's the platform. Next, you're going to go back and get these two pistons. You're also going to get together this little tiny platform sub platform that we put together before with the piping now remember these caps on the end here are kind of loose so be careful when you're assembling this uh, i think we're gonna have to end up putting some super glue on there uh, but i didn't want to do that until i saw exactly what we're doing so you're going to take your platform and on each one of these pistons you're going to notice that there's a little square you're going to want that to face down and you're going to want to put the piston in here like this Okay, and you're going to take the other one. So we're going to put this, you put this on the inside, you know, that cap fell off. I'm going to leave it off. 
Now you're going to take your little mini platform, sub platform, and there's little grooves right here. That's good. They're going to fit into the other lugs that are sticking out of here on the pistons. So you're just going to fit this onto here. I'm going to turn this upside down so the platform doesn't move. And there are four holes and they get some B screws. Now the piston is held in there. At this point, I'm fairly confident that we can super glue these end caps onto here. There we go. Now I'm not going to put the pistons back in yet until we need to because I don't want to push the piston back in there and take a chance there's any super glue in there and actually seal the rod in place. So we'll just leave it like this, let it glue. Next you're going to grab this little hose right here, not hose, but the piping right here for the nozzle. And there's a little nub right there and that is going to fit right onto that pipe that we did earlier. And that's just a press fit. Okay, now you're going to take the platform here, and you're going to take our little ladder, and if you notice, there's some L shapes on the ladder right here. They're going to go to the bottom. Now, you may want to just tip these pistons out of the way, and you'll notice there's four holes, and the ladder is just going to get pushed right into there. Holding the platform like this, you're going to take this little part right here with the nine. Obviously, this is the top, this is the bottom. And this is going to fit right onto here. There's little tabs that it fits into. And again, this looks like it's another press fit. There we go. This is going to be, well, now that we got the ladder on here, you're going to take this part right here that came in the stage. And this probably would have been a good thing to put on before, too. Right down in here, there is a large hole and a small hole. Uh, you're going to take this part and the lugs on the back, bottom small, bigger, top is smaller, and you're going to want to fit that in there. There we go. That box is all in there. So you look in here, this is how that is supposed to be installed in there. Now that we have that compartment in here, this is it for the stage. Um, I'm just going to keep these pistons aside so I don't lose them. I don't want to put them in here and have them keep dropping out. So let's move on to stage 53. Stage 53 looks like we're doing some ladder, uh, another storage compartment section right here, and a walkway. This stage can't get any easier. We're going to bring back the cab right here, and on this section, you're just going to take this cab and cabinet rather, and you're going to fit this right on top. Just press fit them down. Then you're going to take this part, and we're just going to press fit them right in. All right, this piece is on here now. It is loose, but just like the pistons before, I'm not going to super glue this in here because I don't know what it's, it's kind of unusual they don't tell you to but since it's so uh, loose in here. So what we'll do is we'll just keep this here. And once we're sure this we don't need to take this away, we'll super glue this down here. So you're going to have this ladder left over and that's going to be it for stage 53. Stage 54 has got a few parts here. Uh, it's another ladder. Uh, looks like there's a fender uh, cover right here, or, or wheel well cover, and you've got some uh, light frame, uh, a lens, and you got some other colored lenses that go in here, and maybe a rear light. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this light frame, and we're going to put this lens, red lens, into there. You're going to put a little spot of super glue right in the middle there. There you go, that lens is all assembled. We're going to put a little bit of super glue right in there. And that lens we just did is going to fit right in there. And one hole is bigger than the other. Next thing you're going to get is this orange piece. And that is going to go right in there. Actually, the next page over told us to actually put a little bit of glue on here. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over. And I'm actually going to put the glue on from the rear. That way, I don't have to worry about marring up the lens just in case this is going to be lit. So I'm just going to put some right here. And that lens is held in there. Yellow piece is an electrical outlet. And that's going to go right in his hole right here. As you can see, it's D-shaped. And it says they want us to put a little bit of glue on here. Now over on this side, 
you're going to have a side marker that goes on. Again, this is D-shaped, and it says it wants us to use some glue to affix it into place. Now that side marker is in there. The Next, you want to bring back the chassis on the side. This little side piece you did. The wheel well arch, as they're calling it. And you just press it into place. And poof, you're done. And much like the other stage, you are now complete and you've got another ladder left over. Here's the parts for 55. We're going to be doing some work on top of the uh, cab, not top of the cab, but on, on the deck of the uh, frame. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this boom frame and put it right into here. And that is going to get held in there with a B screw. Next you're going to get the large accessory and then you're going to get this piece. Uh, there is, of course, as usual, there's a large hole and a small hole. Now I had some trouble getting in here, so what I did is I laid this upside down <laughs> and I actually put this box on top so that way the holes lined right up with the pegs. And that piece is now in the large accessory box. Now this little square area right here, you're going to take one of the um, water coolers containers and you're just going to put that in and you're going to press fit that right into place. And then you're going to see two holes right behind the uh, tarp box. Again, one hole is bigger than the other. I'm just going to press fit that into place right there. Then over on this side of the tarp, you're going to take the sand canister. It's a little white jug right here. You're going to press that into place. Then you're going to take this little container and you're going to take your remaining water cooler bottle. That's going to go right into here. And you're going to put that aside and we're going to attach that later. Now I want to carefully tip this on its side. Make sure you don't smash any of the doors. Okay, and this cabinet door, we're going to open this up. Take the shelf out. You're going to take the, uh, what they're calling is the fork-ended tool. And you're just going to push it right into there. Okay, now, to get that into the hole, it kept wobbling. So what I did is, you see how I had this angled? I angled it, put one of the nubs in there. Now I'm just going to lift this up. Swing this over, push the other one in. That was easy. And of course, we're going to put the shelf right back in. Now you're going to move down here. You're going to open up these cabinets. You're going to take out this shelf and you're going to take your hydrant wrench. And the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to angle this a little bit, push this piece in. There you go. And once again, put it right back in. And that completes stage 55. As you can see, there's no fire truck in front of us. That's because uh, at the end of this video, at the, actually at the end of stage 55, I realized the video was almost a half hour at that point. So I think that's enough for you guys to see for today. Uh, there are two more stages left in pack eight, uh, stages 56 and 57. But the thing is, is after you get done those two stages, there's a lot of work you're going to be doing with parts that you've gotten in previous stages. So I thought, uh, let's make that another video and I'll, I'll show you that exactly, you know, how that is all done. Um, I'll put a link below to any tools and supplies that I use here and of course to this model uh, in case you want to go ahead and do it yourself which I encourage because all Gore models are really cool uh, so I think that's it for now uh, I'll see you at the in a couple days with the other two stages and the work we're going to be doing so I'm Steve thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave